Hey, I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect and welcome to this tutorial about importing objects uh, from the 3D warehouse. In case you are not aware, this is the 3D warehouse. It's one of the biggest uh, repositories of objects, uh, 3D models online. It has a clear focus on serving uh, SketchUp users, but it doesn't mean we can't grab some of those objects and use in Blender. In fact, uh, with the correct uh, add-ons and options, uh, file types, you can import everything from the 3D warehouse to Blender. Let me give you an overview on some of those objects. For instance, uh, I have one right here. Let's open one of those lamps here. As you can see, we have the object. You will see some data here at the bottom. You find a polygon count, uh, the units of measure, that uh, the author of this object use it. And by the way, you need to create, you have to create an account uh, to get access, uh, to have access to those objects. If you click here on the download uh, button, you'll see that uh, it will offer us a few file types. You have a SketchUp file and in some cases, a USDZ file, which in my opinion, it's one of the best options because it doesn't require anything other than Blender itself. To import, Blender uh, can import USDZ files natively. You don't need any add-ons to do that. For instance, we have this uh, Chugar Garage here, this object, this model. It's, uh, it has a reasonable uh, amount of polygons, lots of different objects, and it, it's not that big. And if I try to download it, you will see that it offers an USDZ file. Let's try to import it to Blender. Uh, here in Blender, you can uh, go to File, Import, and we have an option here for a uh, universal send description, USD and an asterisk. Uh, it means you can get anything uh, starting with USD and the format has many different uh, extensions. And one of them is USDZ. Let's try to import that object. I already downloaded it. And here it is, garage.usdz. And if I try to import it, no bigger problems uh, other than it's uh, quite huge. I think I forgot to change the scale, but that's fine. We can reduce the size here by uh, selecting everything. As you can see, this object in particular, it's organized as a, um, with a an hierarchy. Everything, it's a child of this model. So you can press, you can click here to select everything. Press the S key and type 0 0.01 just to get uh, it on a smaller size. Press the home key on your keyboard and Blender will adjust your uh, zoom. If you don't have a home key, you can come here on uh, view and choose frame all. It does uh, the same thing. And this is the object. This is the object that we just imported from the 3D warehouse. Like I said, it's on one of the biggest uh, repositories for 3D objects online. Uh, if you are trying to use it on a project, you have some work here to remove uh, those objects from the hierarchy, but you got everything. What if we are trying to import uh, an object that do not offer uh, the option to get it as an USDZ? You have to download the SketchUp file. So uh, let's take a look. Let me bring another model here, this one. Let's, uh, let's try to import this wooden uh, bookcase. And if you press this button here to download, you will see that it doesn't offer a USDZ file, just a SketchUp, uh, the SketchUp format. So I uh, already downloaded this object, but since Blender can't import directly SKP files, uh, SKP files, we will need an add-on. And it's this one right here. It's the best option to import uh, SketchUp files right now. It's from a Red Halo Studios. I will leave a link in the description in case you want to download this add-on. It will give you the option to import SketchUp files uh, directly to Blender. So I will download this one first and uh, install the add-on in Blender. So the first thing, I will create a new, a new project here. Let me remove my timeline and uh, on edit, 
preferences. Since this is not from the official extensions repository, you have to uh, make a manual installation. Uh, in this case, I will press this button here under get extensions and choose uh, install from disk. Locate your uh, zip file that you downloaded from GitHub, that link that I uh, just uh, showed to you with the add-on. Hit this option, install from disk, and it will install the add-on. Now let's find it here on the list. This is it, SketchUp Importer. I will enable the option. Let me remove everything from here. Uh, under File, Import, you will see an option for SketchUp SKP. Let's import that wooden case. And this is my, uh, my file that I downloaded from the 3D warehouse. Select the file, hit import, and it will try to import the object. And this one came just fine. Here's the object in uh, Blender. And as you can see, it uh, got some data from uh, SketchUp as well. You have to do some cleaning here in case you want to use it on a project. But you have the entire geometry here from uh, SketchUp. And this is it. This is a quick tutorial on how to import any object that you want from the 3D warehouse. And in case you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any uh, future tutorial. And don't forget to check my latest workshop, uh, Precise Modeling uh, with Blender 4.2. Links in the description. See you next time. Bye.